Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to 365 Ninja. Today I've got a really basic tip for you, but it actually has a lot of different options. Um, we'll go through them all. It's how to send an instant message in Skype for Business. So I'm here in Skype for Business, and you can see that I don't have a lot of people on my contacts list, but that's okay. We can always add more contacts. There's a different video for that. But if I wanna send an instant message to somebody, all I have to do is double click on their name in my contacts list. And then you can see this instant message window pops up. And this is a really familiar kind of process for anybody who's used any instant messaging program before. It's almost the exact same process that was used in Link 2013 or earlier versions. So that's really all there is to it. You type your IM, your message you want to send, you press enter, and your instant message is sent. You can see that my contact is offline right now, so it gives me a warning that that contact can't actually receive their instant messages, but depending on how they have their Skype for Business set up, they should be able to see that instant message when they're back at their computer. Now, there's actually a couple different ways you can send a message to more than one person or to a group of people. So if you have any actual groups in your contacts list, you can add a group as a contact. All you have to do is use the exact same process that I just did. From your contacts list, wherever your group is, you will either double click or you can also right click and select send an IM. That's another option for even sending a single contact an IM that I didn't mention earlier. If you have a couple different people in your contacts list that you want to send a message to, you can hold down the shift key, select one contact, hold down shift, select adjacent contacts in the group, right click, select send an IM, and you can see that I now have a window with four participants in my instant message group here. And alternatively, you can click this plus button. Let me move the window so you can see me hover. It says invite more people. So if I want to, let's say I just started with this individual conversation. If I wanted to add more people, I could click that and my contacts list comes up and I can select another person to add to the conversation and send an IM to everybody who's in that particular conversation group at the time. And as you can see, if I have multiple conversations going on at once, the window kind of groups them together into different tabs, which is a really nice and easy way to not clutter up your desktop with too many instant message windows. So I hope that tip helped new Skype users who are sending instant messages. For more tips and tricks like this, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.